Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the next three episodes of New Girl. This is season four, episode one, two, and three. Season four, we're here. New season, who dis? Um, yeah, so the last time was the cruise. Jess and Nick, they kind of had to keep like, keep going on with their, their, their couple stint because they bought a, a, a ticket to a cruise, to a cruise ship, a cruise, whatever. And they had to basically uh, go through all the couples package. No refunds allowed. We made some revelations. I think Schmidt and Cece are probably going to get back together, which will be whatever. I know I'm just going to let the story take me where it needs to go. I'm not really a big fan of that, but I will just you know keep my mouth shut in terms of that storyline. Um, Nick and Jess, I, I believe they do deserve a second chance. They did kind of just jump into this now that I kind of you know think about it a little bit more. Because what the end of season two, they're just like, I'm all in. Are you all in? And then just kind of just run to Mexico. Or whatever, wherever they went. So, rushing into things. Now they have a time to kind of like just stop and think about it. So now, I believe if they do want to give this another shot, I'll be all in for it. So let's just hop in. The last wedding. Don't really know what to expect here. But I think I saw Jessica Biel on the cover. Back in the day, she was like one of my main crushes when I was younger. Like, she was like on 7th Heaven. She was um, in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot. <laughs> Man, she... she she was a sight. So let's just see what's going on here. I believe that's her. I could totally be wrong, though. But let's just hop in, have a good time, discuss afterwards. All right, guys. But before I do, I do want to remind you guys, Patreon for the full-length, uncut, unedited reactions, as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel, as well as exclusive reactions. So if any of that interests you, hop on over to Patreon. Of course, if you can't support me over there, you can really support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking. Hop in, have a good time, discuss afterwards. All right, guys. Here we go. I can't. I can't do it. Of course you can, and you will. What are we doing or not doing? Eleven weddings in a row. That's too many weddings. What do you mean in a row? Why does everybody get to have a party for everything in their life? Why can't I have a for party clout. for really dedicating myself to knitting this summer? Hey. I hate everything about it. Why? It makes me angry and scared all at the same time. Why? I hear the phrase Academy Award winner Anna Paquin. Uh, Anna Paquin, she's a um, sucky. Suki Stackhouse. The last mouth that you kissed was Nick's mouth. That was four months ago. Oh, it's been four months. Okay. Hey, is Schmidt making fun of me? Yep. Hey, Nick. Exactly. Okay, Are you wearing tap shoes? They're cool. Hey, what are you guys Isn't Jess guy? a tap dancer? For, a wedding for everybody in here. I feel like there's one more of us. Something going on in Jess's room? I'm coming. Ah! What's wrong with Winston again? He saw from Police Academy. I'm so oh yeah, from he. Police Academy. Okay, we have gone to wedding after wedding this summer. Why? Who? How is there eleven weddings in the summer in the span of four months? If I was invited to eleven weddings in four months, I will go to no weddings in those months. <laughs> All right, I just rolled off the couch. Winston, please. I can't close my ass. What? What the? What? Do you realize how important this is? I do. Winter is coming. <laughs> no one comes home alone. You know what? Yeah, I'm in. She's in. We're all in. Yeah. yeah. I'm in. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Where's Ferguson? Sex fist. Oh, when right. you put them all together, tearing our way uh, through the reception. Listening to what you're <laughs> We're gonna fist you. Be all five fist. of us sex fists in our way. Yeah. 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 Hmm, Coach is still not in this. Interesting. Season four. Hi, huh? everybody. Uh, I'm Ted. I'm, uh, I'm Mark's best friend and his best man. Uh, guys, what Mark, about Mark him, Jess? What? The best man? Best man. You can't really a clown. I've been out oh, Cece's in this. Where's she at? He's a wedding celebrity. Jess, come on. Get in there. What? You got this. I think so? Yes, you got the bangs party. You're looking good. Really? Yes. Mark, Mark. Jess does look good. Stick your boobs out. You gotta turn the headlights on. Ew! <laughs> But you got it. <laughs> Turn the headlights on. <laughs> I'm coach. Oh my god. Oh damn. You fucked her before? Damn. Damn it. Get her fired. God, what is she doing here? I thought she was in Australia. Mm. How do I look? How, how Jewish? I mean, like, good Jewish or bad Jewish? Oh, I what? Cece has a boyfriend, and your obsession with her is not good. Who is Buster? Man. She's been away all summer, and you have been. Can't remember. It. 
That one guy. Finish the summer of sex that you started. That's what I'm talking about. CC gone. See that bridesmaid right there? The pretty one? Sure do. The foxy lady? Mm -hmm. Well, you're going home with her tonight. Mm. Let's do it. So you're from Wisconsin? <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, this thing on. You're making your throat like a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. I feel like it'd be easier for Jess than anybody else. Right. I'm oh, it is Jessica really Biel. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, my girlfriend's getting jealous. Oh, you have a girlfriend? Oh, this okay. guy's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, they're both gonna fight Ted for him. Ted is the only eligible guy here, and we are his two best options for procreation. Oh. What? Here are the facts. I'm technically a genius. I have a photographic memory, and I lost my virginity to Malcolm Gladwell. Oh. Have you ever heard of Plutoxic Syndrome? It's because I cured it. You're welcome, vaginas everywhere. Oh, thank you very much. That was your vagina? Your vagina sounds like Yoda? I stay current on sporting events. I watch 30 minutes of porn every night just to stay up to date oh, me on too. the sex trends. In the coming months, <laughs> I'm predicting a throwback to missionary. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what happens in Syria. I'm the better choice of mate. From a purely biological standpoint, you're shorter, weaker. I mean, I love those shoes. the younger guy in me is like, damn, go with Jessica Biel. I love your shoes. But the older guy in me is like, but Zoe Deschanel, she's so beautiful. I'm like torn. Angel and devil on my shoulder. I can take her down because I have something she doesn't have. You guys, now. What the hell does that mean? You no, 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 you wait a minute. All the time. We're not gonna help you because then you have to help us, right? And why don't you just have Cece help you? Have Cece trip the bitch up or something. Look, babe, just get out on the dance Babe, okay, oh. Guys think that the Cece and the Jess, way you have sex, I ship okay? that. Just give him a little something, okay? Some little sex. And yeah, Pop Schmidt the has a boner. Right now. right now. Got a half okay, we gotta go. Excuse me, everybody. I need a minute. Uh, I just want to get back out there, but I feel like I forgot everything I knew. Mm. I still like an Oakland face with an LA booty. Would you like to know my strategy, Jesse? An Oakland face really with an LA booty. Maybe reverse. <laughs> just be there. No matter where he goes, be there. He gets a drink, be there. He talks to his friends, be there. At the end of the night, be there. It's called the Joe Biden. Yeah. I'm gonna Biden his ass. Biden my time. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would do it. I know. Oh, hey. Uh, you know, Kat was just telling me about her hairlessness. Damn. <laughs> mm. That's okay. That is a plus. You guys talk. I'm just gonna be here. So you know Tom. Tom. Oh person. my god. Wanted to sell shoes for a profit. And I said no. Hmm. If I had to choose. I'd go blonde. You got a uh, pretty good face. Pre so you guys want to come home with us? Yeah. Mm hmm Actually, no, I switched that. We want to do a four-way. Me, her, you, and him. Well, uh, Nick. Nick? I've never had a four-way before. Hey. Hey, Nick. Hey, Schmidt. Hey, do you know how they sell ice cream at the drugstore? I'm not having a four-way with you. End of discussion. Come on, Nick. I've found 15 other girls since I've been here. They're all either married or taken or mad at coach. I'm not doing a four-way. Why not? Time, man. No, Schmidt. You wouldn't even know it's me, Nick. Look, at this point, it's all skin and shape. That's the, that's what I'm afraid it's of. The fog of war, man. There's so much stuff going on. Yeah. You don't even know what's happening. Okay, but I want to know what's happening if it's with sex. I don't want some fog of war on top of me <laughs> if it looks like you. That's the Bro, how uncoordinated are you? As long as you guys don't cross swords. <laughs> Don't even know. But what if I get a surprise? A surprise? What, what surprise? surprise on me? There's not gonna be a surprise. What if I'm fighting the war and boom, there's a surprise? You go north, I go south. Do you know what I'm saying? There's two girls, one for each of you. One take a couch, one take the bed. You're up in the Tag out, out switch fresh out. Fresh air up there, I mean, man. go see though. Who the fuck cares, no, Nick? What the hell's wrong with you? I'm breathing in those fumes. You're spotting dog. A bro asked me, he's like, yo, you wanna do a four with these two girls? Yes. You call me. Yes, I do. Touch a <laughs> Nick, please <laughs> don't play the CC card right now. Don't I'm gonna play the CC card, okay? Look, she's here, and I don't want to go home alone. <laughs> I can't have sex with nobody tonight. Not even your hand. My mouth is Mr. and Mrs. Ibuprofen, <laughs> minus the Mr. Man, do you think that the two men can engage in group sex without without compromising their friendship? Good yes, question, good question. I've done it. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just say Nick is the salt, and Schmidt, you are the pepper. I'm assuming. We're talking about you two. Hypothetically. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hypothetically. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna need some. 
Oh boy. Seems Spill the salt. Mess. I gotta clean that up. The salt all in the pepper. Pepper all in the salt. Just mixed up like that. Nick. He's gonna think he's gonna have a three way. I'm just gonna. Yeah, Ted, get crazy. Leave it all out there on the field. Okay. We'll come back with stories. <laughs> <laughs> Are you binding? What? No. One of y'all ladies ain't. <laughs> Ain't gonna walk in there after him. I'm always gonna be one step ahead of you. You walk in there after him. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm not proud of this. It's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stream Biden, go for it. This is where it all happens. You ain't. See you out on the dance floor. What? He's like, whatever. Wedding 12. He's gonna just leave and go with cast. What? Yeah. In LA. Probably got hepatitis now. When did one on one sex become old fashioned? You know, America's gotta take a hard look in the mirror. Nick and Cece? Just be glad you're not single. Oh, actually, Buster and I broke up. So Don't I tell know. him. Oh. Why the fuck would you tell him? Now he has to tell Schmidt. If you're single, that means that I have to do something. Do you? Something awful. You have no idea what you just did to me. You have no idea, young lady. Oh, no. Couldn't even make it through room. one yes. episode. Okay, I'm gonna go book the room. Okay, stop. You. You're gonna get one hand on Nick, you're a good friend. I'm gonna dangle it into the mix while I look at something else on my phone. That's all it takes? You're gonna protect Schmidt, so that's why you're gonna agree to the four-way? Well, okay then. <laughs> What's that on your hand, man? Why is it so rough? It's like a hoof. There's nothing on my hand. This is a regular old man. It, it's, it's a, yeah, he's a, t it's a tell. Wait, you're a buffoon. He knows. I was only doing it for you, Schmidt, so you don't freak out when you find out that Cece's single. Oh, uh, Nick sucks. She's single? I have my, uh... You suck. CC single now. You don't know that for sure. <sighs> you didn't even lock the door? Why? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? It's the men's room. What? <sighs> what are you doing? How come she gets most of the toilet? It's exactly like when you share the bed. They get most of the bed. I know I'm supposed to, like, get back out there. You know, but... Maybe I'm just not built for it. Man, I hear you. Mm. Like, and where's Cat? Who's? Like. Oh, son of a. Probably giving him that Gok Gok 9000 right now. <laughs> you think there's a reason I'm not up on a fridge, you know? You want to get on the fridge, he'll get on the fridge, Jess. Just be yourself. And if he's not into Jessica Day, then there's something wrong with him. Yeah, see, they're rebuilding this. I like it. Be myself. Like, do my Tina Turner version? Aw, Tina Turner, RIP. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. and a legend. Oh God. Okay, Ted. Um, I'm out of moves, so have fun, I'm just you two. Try being myself. Here's some stuff about me. I've never cured anything. I'm a middle school vice principal, and I love my job. I'm just getting out of a relationship with a guy that I still live with, which is kind of complicated. Hi, I'm Nick. <laughs> Sometimes I cry when <laughs> these pastors wish each other happy birthday on air. My first crush was on a Batman cake, but my first sexual feelings were about teenage Simba. Cause he was super hot and I still actually find him hot. You mean when he had like the, like the mohawk look? Yeah, he looked pretty cool like that. Take me home, Ted. You can definitely do some no bra stuff. Oh shit. That's second base, right? That's me naked. Well, and this is me with a guy who I thought was Larry King. So it's decision yeah. time. Yeah, said who's gonna be me or Jess? Um, I want to say the naked one. Man, I wish I had those type of problems. Huh. I chose neither. Oh, this neither is tough. Just take Jessica Beale and leave. So you and Buster broke up. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you to do something weird now. Yeah, I feel that coming on. So uh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, play hard to get, Schmidt. Like, do a different angle, please.
Oh my god. I'm counting down the days until we don't need men to procreate. Oh, now it's girl power when you're not <laughs> competing with each other? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Here we go again. That's my plan B. Beat's going home alone. Nothing weird. We do this every time. Where do you live? Up oh, two inches north of your mouth, Padre. Bye. Okay. What were they implying there? We're not going home alone. Going home together. That's great. Right. All right. Come on. <laughs> I mean, just pick up a couple of hookers. I mean, you're in LA, right? <laughs> oh, look at this one, guys. Uh, looks like Jeffrey and Lauren want us to share in their joy. How about they share in my chocolate pocket? What does that mean? <laughs> my butt. That's mm. gross. Yeah. Mmm. That's really gross. Look at that, Lori and Mitchell. They had a cash bar. I Who even are these kids. people? That's super dark, bro. That was too far. I hope they can. I hope they can. I hope they can. Hey, woo! <laughs> At least the, oh, the whole gang is back together, we're all on the same page. Ooh. Status quo. I do like this. This is a nice little moment. That was cool. Alright guys, so that was New Girl Season 4, Episode 1, The Last Wedding. Enjoyable episode. Really cool to see Jessica Biel, like, represented into the show. And even though she was kind of in conflict with um, Jessica, and, like, trying to compete for this guy. It was, you know, just seems okay to me. I mean, just judging from my, you know, whatever. I'm just thinking he's just okay. But, you know, they're basically hot for him. He was the only eligible guy there, and they were basically competing with one another. Who was going to take him home? Neither of them did. Jessica Bill goes home with the priest or something. I don't really know what's going on with there, but um, Jess and everybody and the rest of the friends, well, basically, like, they made a pact. They weren't going to go home, like, alone. And in reality, they didn't because they all had each other, et cetera, et cetera. It's all about the good friendship. Everyone's kind of, like, back in, like, good places. At least that's what I believe. That's, you know, when they all kind of just took down all the wedding invitations from the fridge and they all started having a tear up and whatever party. So they're, they're all on the same page. I really do enjoy that. They are um, planting seeds for the whole C.C. Schmidt kind of revival. Uh, Nick and Jess, I can see that happening too. Winston continues to take a back seat to things. Like Coach seems to always get a little bit more material than, than Winston. And I'm only thinking that because he's like, like Coach is a guest star. So hopefully like when he does kind of like exit the show again. Because he's still not in the opening credits or the opening little title uh, sequence. So I'm guessing he's still not going to be sticking around. And CZ doesn't stick around either, since she's just a side character also. So I'm guessing once uh, Coach leaves, they'll probably give Winston more opportunities to shine. That's at least almost what I'm guessing. But yeah, that's what I'm hoping for, because Winston always seems to be the butt of the joke, and I kind of want more for him. So let's just hop in next, next episode, Season 4, Episode 2, Dice. Let's do it. Hey, look who it is. It's Schmidt. And, um, who is this? Barb. Barb's leaving. Oh, oh Barb. is that one of the bridesmaids? That's Babar, you dumb dumb. Barbara. Oh, they look like one of the, the barmaids. Not the bar the bridesmaids, the barmaids. Bye, Barb. Bye, Bob. Bye, Schmidt. <laughs> Bye, Babar. The third piece of nanny this week. I'm like, nanny? Oh, um, mm -hmm. Where are you meeting all these eligible singles? These uh, Ellie Sings. Ellie Sings? Dice is a dating app. Dating app. It's not for you. What? Schmidt. What is Dice? I've heard of Tinder. What is Dice? Come on. You're gonna get eaten alive on Dice. Come on. Do you want to see? You want to see? This is Dice. Come here. It's all about split second decisions, okay? Instinct. That's what it's about. Which you don't have. Mm. Now, I'm gonna go do a deep ass mouthwash. Don't go on Dice, Jess. Or do you want a mouthwash with deep ass? You're using his phone. I am. Why don't you just phone. download your own DTF? Seek same. <laughs> I'm Dyson. Oh my god, Jazz. Believe it or not, I am not clicking socially with the other cadets. Shocking. I can't dude. wrap my head around that. that Everyone's got a nickname but me. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> just invite myself. Now, that's just rude. Winnie the Bish wasn't raised to be rude. Winnie the Bish? I can't believe we're going to live with a cop. I mean, can we still do illegal things? Like, I don't know, what if I want to get stoned or something? I've actually never gotten stoned before. You've never been stoned? What? Should I do it before he becomes a cop? Mm-hmm. Really? We're adults. We can smoke a little weed. I think we should do it. Dude, it's been a while. I pick up stuff really quick. You can't just pick up pop and be good at it. I mean... What the hell is that? 
What's that noise? Your cellular technology. I've got a non-text. My God. Years. Early 2000s song. Hey, uh, so I diced and it was great, but could I get a ride? You sure you don't want to hop on for a second? Hop on what? Will you at least just talk to me, please? What kind of date was that? That was so weird. He looked nice in his picture. Like, how do you even get in that? Situation. The frame cut off the bottom of his beard, so how was I to know it was braided into a beardy tail? He asked me to the food court near his house. I thought that was down to earth, and I liked that. He didn't bring any money, so we had to go back to his apartment, and also he wanted to show me some of his old baby clothes. Oh. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm not ready for dice. I want to get back out there. Forgot my wallet at home. I need to get back out You should out. come back with me. And I know me. I'm gullible. Because people tell me that, and I have no reason not to believe them. Teach me to dice. What is happening with him? What's happening? He's dehydrated. He's banging so many girls. Oh, what the hell? I will teach you. Oh this. my god, that scared me. I was like, who is this? Jess, you sleep with the door open? Fuck that. All he needs is uh, to... <laughs> The dentist system for, for girls. The Jess system. Would you like some water? That's really nice. Never show weakness. Write that down. Now, you're on dice. <clears throat> and this hunk shows up. Hunk? Mama in trouble. Don't ever do that again. Okay. <laughs> this man looks like a Hemsworth. <laughs> what the fuck did she just say? Ooh, I got a dice match. Jacob, he has dreamy eyes. Them's joint bank account eyes. Okay. Why? Oh my God. Why is she like this? Well, I have a good feeling about this okay. guy. I'm going to ask him out. Hey! You're not ready yet. I took CC's advice. Decided to invite myself to hang out with some of the other guys. And I think y'all should roll with. Make me look cooler. I'll totally go to a party on your butt. What? Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but seriously, you have to go. Oh. No, no, no. You don't no. know what? We're gonna go. Coach is gonna get super high. It's gonna hit him like right when he gets to the party. We're gonna go. Right on, right on. Well, then we'll go. <laughs> Nobody knows we're stoned. If we didn't go, then they'd know. You're saying that. that <laughs> you don't go Somehow party, that is like perfect logic. High. Oh, the guy who's never done weed. It's not the proper term. It's smoked weed. You don't do weed. That's a test. You said it. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I wish I could die for rings. What's up, Cece? Because if you were stoned, you wouldn't die for a ring. Trust me. I just thought of every single possibility of what could happen at that party, and none of them are bad. I mean... Wow, this is a big party. I'm talking wall-to-wall -wall cops. Jesus. <laughs> you know... Oh, I did not think this through. Yeah. <laughs> just hit me. Hey, 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 uh oh. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> now, last night the crazy man red flags to meet you near his house. What he was really saying was, I expect tonight to end in sex. Basically, maybe he doesn't like to be far from his pet. Never date a man. Just the only acceptable pet for a man to have is a saltwater fish. That's not true. I mean, I don't like to be away from my pet, but I'm not gonna pull the old. <laughs> I left my wallet at home. Come back and get it with me. Time for the next phase. Next phase? Jess? Oh, hi, God. I'm Malcolm from Dice. Oh, hi. Hey. I'm wearing my lounge around underwear. I set you up on 10 dates. What? 10 years of experience in one day. Expert by the oh. Dice DAs. Are you insane, Schmidt? I'm not ready. That's like taking a musical from Rehearsal Street to Broadway. You gotta workshop it first. You are for one second suggesting that I don't know how to open a musical. I'm trying to help you out here. Now, of course you're not ready, Jess. That's why I set up 10 dates. Thank you, Schmidt. All right. So, so. date talk. OK. <laughs> what do you do? Um, well, I don't have a job currently right now in the traditional nine <sighs> sense, but uh, I grow raisins. So grapes? Um, I'm going to have to let you finish that story. Oh, OK. This is also from all <sighs> Jesus. A raisin can be anything. We gotta so. go. Ma called. The bees are back. Ma called. The bees are back. Oh, okay. Um, should I just, should I wait for you? No. You know that was a bad date. 
I know, but I just felt so trapped. Just do what I did. Make up an excuse and then leave. Just say as little as you need to, okay? Make it your own. You ready? Yeah. You can do this. Okay. You have so much hair. What? Where did all that hair come from? Yeah. Did you know you could put a whole live chicken in your mouth and eat it without plucking it or preparing it at all? What? Schmidt, where did you look these guys up? Psychopaths are us? No! No! Oh. Stand down, sir. We found your son. He's alive. They found my son. He's alive. I'm sorry. It was nice meeting you. Oh. Over there is better. Why? What's over there? Whatever the hell that means. Is there a cop in the house? <laughs> We're really calm, really relaxed. And you saw I couldn't possibly even bring you back. Actually, dude, I feel really good. And your voice sounds so stoned and crazy. And now I'm a model and a bartender. Are you high? I'm so sorry. What was your question again? I didn't ask anything. I didn't ask anything. So, man, I'm in the locker room and I see a spider and I'm like, I hope this is Charlotte's Web and you're nice. Charles Webb, the uh, cartoon, the tale about the spider who was super chill and super cool. I took the liberty of writing down some exit lines because obviously you can't come up with any on your own. Here, take a look. At I this. have diarrhea. Schmidt, these are such obvious rejections. I don't want to hurt their feelings. Hurt their feelings? Do you just walk around all day thinking about other people's feelings? Yeah, don't you? No, no not really. Okay, Jess, how can I put this? You are the prize here, okay? You're the best girl on dice, Jess. Who cares what these guys are feeling? You know, what do you feel? Schmidt and Jess being together would be weird too. Hmm. I'm the pie. There you go. Who are you? I never really thought about that. Hmm. A prominent US Senator is trying to contact me. An important document has gone missing. I need to find it. Like there's no real like consistent like thread with these guys. It's just a bunch of random people. I an acquaintance how did Jeopardy. schmidt like how did he like jess nope not jess velcro shoes Pervert. ah she's starting to pick up see those okay this could be fun like how does she screen these guys a doggy see if there's a dog at a party i'm hanging out with the dog officer can i read Fuck you boring right? people man you have the right to remain hugged <laughs> oh no coach and you have the right to remain sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck would you do that? What's with your friends, Winston Bishop? They kicked over the grill and then they ran that way. I know. <sighs> oh my God. Is that the guy? I, think it is. I give you dreamy eyes, Jacob. Happy dice birthday, Jess. You're ready for this. Now go get him. Thank you, sir. She's not gonna like him. Are you from Portland? The Jolly Cow Creamery. Yeah, I used to work there summers in high school. No way. Oh, I'm damn. Like he Portland sounds too. genuine. Yes, I used to go there all the time in high school. I don't like him. Yeah, I hope you like this place. I, I live like right across the Dreamy place. Eyes Jacob. Like, fuck boy jackass. <clears throat> I get it. You asked me here because you want me to go home with you. Wait, what? No. Um, you know what? I gotta go. I have hockey practice. I'm center wing, I've... so they really need me. Wow. I just live across the street. I'm not some weirdo trying to lure you back to my apartment. I thought we were kind of hitting it off. All right, well, have a good practice. And by the way, there's no center wing in hockey. Okay. Damn. The dice DAs, you did it. This uh, is I see. Now nah, she's gonna realize that this isn't even champagne. Look, it's <sighs> the super fancy salad dressing. That is delightful. What's wrong with you? I just don't understand how what we did today is going to help me find love. Love? The point of dating is just to keep on dating. And then never stop. It's like burning fossil fuels or seeing a <laughs> Oh smoke. my god! Shit. Like, don't you ever worry that you're missing out? <sighs> I mean, you're plowing through all of these girls, and some of them might be great, but you'll never know. Do you want to go through life that way? I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Damn. I think my life is going nowhere. Oh, mm. oh, Cece, it's wonderful to hear. Do you like to learn? I do. I see you going back to school. I see it. Yes, yes. I don't see it. Yes. Cece and Coach again? Mm. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Winnie the Bish got him. See, I see you guys are high, so I got these guys to come and mess with you. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Toilet. Toilet. Is that is, is that my nickname? Yeah, because living with these guys, you got to put up with a lot of crap. Let's get a beer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, but toilet. Flush, flush. What the rush? Toilet's coming. <laughs> If he likes it, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> I was, I don't know where to begin. Uh, my roommate taught me all of these phony excuses to get out of dates. Ugh, so, well. boo, anyway, hiss. I don't like this guy. That is not me. I don't want anyone with Jess. I don't know why. I feel like I have to be defensive over her because she's not defensive over herself. This coin? You know, magic. Are you like five, bro? You're a magician. No, ugh, no. <laughs> I'm a comedy magician. Oh. Even better. I have a little problem with uh, nose candy. Oh, what's up, bud? <laughs> oh. Can't have this. It's my last one. Oh. <laughs> Let's go in. Uh, I'm going to the bathroom. I totally didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. Well, you know, I just figured. Who's this? Let's see if there's something here. And this is a coffee place down the street. Maybe we can go. Grab a couple gel. No. I don't think you understand dice. Oh. Jessica! What? I'm late to officiate a giant's wedding. Yeah, this guy sucks. Stuck. <laughs> now the rings are free, but the groom is in prison forever. <laughs> you know what they say? You gotta crack a few eggs to uh, make an Amish. What? My uncle is on fire. So you've seen a rabbit pulled out of a hat. Have you ever seen a hat? Pulled out of a rabbit. Let's see it. Okay, this date is over. Is that D? All right, guys. So that was New Girl Season 4, Episode 2, titled Dice. That was a pretty solid episode, too. Here's the thing, though. When it comes to Jess, she's so aloof, not realizing that <laughs> there are guys out there that will take advantage of a girl who doesn't know what she's doing. So I'm just like, I feel like I need to just step in there and be the wall that separates Jess from guys like, I don't know, that would try to lure her to, the, to their apartment and guys that try to waste her time like being a weird ass magician at the end there. I don't know. I feel like I don't want anybody to wind up with Jess. That's just me, though. I mean, I guess if someone has to, maybe one of like Nick, I guess. But. All the other guys we've been introduced to, they all kind of suck in some way. So I'm just like, I don't know if that's just supposed to be like a like a, a deliberate type of direction that the creators, producers, directors, writers want to just take kind of take the show in. Like uh, like everybody else is just kind of like a hopeless romantic. Like everything just it, it won't work out. So we're just kind of just the only two options left is Nick and Jess. That's why I feel like we're setting up. Um. But I do like how Schmidt kind of took her through the ringer and wanted her to kind of experience, I guess, all sorts of random dates just to kind of let her realize that <laughs> that everything's not going to... You can't just be nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know it, it's shitty to kind of think like that, but yeah, it, it, the, the, the nice guy, nice girl act will only get you so far. And if it's going to just wind up with you wasting your time, it's best to kind of just nip it like at the bud really like as soon as you can because if you keep drawing it out then feelings start coming into play and you don't want to hurt anybody you know what i'm saying so if you see it's not working i mean schmidt's advice was solid in at least that way that like you want to just like separate yourselves asap because otherwise you'll probably get into some situations where you don't want to be in like a relationship especially if you're too nice and can't say no you know what I'm saying? So that was pretty cool. Schmidt, oh, whatever. I I thought he was going to be more like trying to like, get back with Cece now that he found out that she's single, but he's doing this whole dice thing, like banging a bunch of girls. I mean, on one hand, sure, that's awesome. But yeah, Jess is right on the other hand. People date for the hopes of having a long lasting relationship. That is correct. So... It all kind of just comes down to what do you really want? Do you want to date for fun or do you want to date for, you know, for the future? So, I don't know. But, yeah, let's just hop into the next one. It'll be the last one for the sitting for today. Season 4, episode 3. I gotta find it. Hold on a second. I think I saw D in the thumbnail. That looks like D.
But yeah, season four, episode three, Julie Berkman's older sister. Let's do it. Hey, Nick. Shh, I'm right in. Can you just give me a second? What do you want this time? It's kind of a, it's kind of a big deal. I'm just wondering why my idea notebook is covered in crimson stains. Oh, that's a fair question. Crimson stains? Yeah. You giant fat pig person. You sloth. You should be living in a tree in Costa Rica. You know that? I haven't had a sloppy Joe in so so long. It sounds good though. What is a sloppy Joe? It's like it's just like ground beef and tomato sauce, right? You are gonna get back here and clean your room, Mister. Guys, I still Where's need the French press. I need my study corner. No, not after last time. What happened last time? Hey, Winnie. You know there's an Albany in California. I towel burned my under. Well, I just prairie dog thanks to you guys. Stop fighting. Prairie dog? Uh, listen to me. I need this account for another few days. Already... Guys, chill out. My dad is coming with his new girlfriend, and I need the French press. Oh, 64B. The tagine is 64B is occupied. Wait. New girlfriend? So D from Always Sunny is his new girlfriend? Who's that girl? Who's that girl? It's just... But... Oh my god. How long before you unleash Holy Hell and your dad's new girlfriend? I want to make sure I've got a good seat and plenty of snacks. Okay. Cecilia. Cecilia. So what? You just gonna be nice to her? No fireworks? No show? I'm gonna be nicer no matter So we're not gonna see Jamie Lee Curtis in the show anymore? Hey, Okay. Okay. Let's see her. We're late, you know, but we saw see It is her. What up, D? Deandra. Anyway. This is Ashley. Hi. I think um, we went to high school. Oh. Together. You went to high school together. We went to high school together. <laughs> is this fun or what? <laughs> that would be really weird. I'd be like, Dad, you gotta go. <gasps> Your dad is dating Trashley Berkman. Not even dating. He's fucking her. What are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know. What are we doing? Nothing. Yeah, what? I'm gonna be sweet and kind and supportive. Look, pe pe people change. People change. Oh, uh, we'll see how long that lasts. There were rumors flying around about every damn one. <laughs> you remember the rumor about me? Oh, that you shaved your chin? Was that the rumor about me? That was a rumor. No, I, it was definitely sexier than that. Mm. I just have to figure out how to sell sponges to men. I don't know what to do, you guys. Spongy make white pee. I like that. Okay, please, I don't have a lot of time. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say the word sponge, and you guys are gonna say the first word that pops into your head, okay? Ready, one, two, three, sponge. Bob. Bob. Yellow. Sponge. That's mine. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say sponge one more time. First word that pops into your head. Ready, one, two, three, sponge. Pineapple. Sponge. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, so much pressure, man. I keep thinking about SpongeBob. <laughs> Coach, here we go. You're the man of the group. You should be good at this. We're selling sponges to men. Ready? One, two, three, sponge. Sponge. Why would you say? <laughs> Come on, yeah. sponge. Cake. What? Cake. Hey. Sponge cake. No! We all know that men are idiots. How long have you been in my office? But what we <laughs> don't know is how much they love to clean. <laughs> he just appears. Come on, Jeannie, you have He's to like, give me this account. What? <laughs> Hear me out here. The reason why men don't talk about how much they love to clean is because they're afraid to admit it. I mean, I do like to clean and organize. On the map. Sometimes. Last America, right in the face with a little bit of Schmidt. Oh, God in heaven. Fine. Put together a focus group, okay? We'll do that. Mm -hmm. This is exciting. All right. Maybe next week nope, we'll start today, it. today. Three o'clock. Today? Today at three. Three o'clock today. That sounds great. I love that idea. Mm -hmm. You just. What time is it now? Special. Thank you. All right. Well... Oh, yeah. What's up? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just so great to see you guys again. Will you please remind me, were you there my first senior year or my second? Oh. Who cooked That's that? So that looks me. really good to be just do an e homemade. I would love to know how you two lovers met. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dice. So I was listening to him sing with his band, The Copays. Yeah. I didn't know you were in a band, Dad. Yeah, we do alt rock covers. Mm. She's so high. Oh, man. Mm. That was it. I was done. Ashley, have you kept in touch with our dear officer? Oh, Cece. Oh. Okay. I, I, I get it. No. Only a crazy person. That rumor was true. Wow. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. Wow, I did not just say no. I said yes. Oh, yes. I just oh. said yes. She yes, said yes, yes a lot. <laughs> She's had sex with hundreds of guys. Yeah, but that was in the past. And then I was diagnosed with a sex addiction. Oh, great. Thankfully, I attended rehab. But third time's the charm mm. for a lot of people. Not for me. For me, it took four. Four times. <laughs> We should get ready to go to the beach. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for this delicious brunch, Jess. It was wonderful. No, no one ate anything. Isn't she great? I just love her. She makes me. Love you love her the so sex, much. I'm guessing. Uh, what? Dad, just so we have this conversation. No, no, she no. seems like the type of girl who might hurt you. Jessica. I've seen you get hurt by a lot. Less. Please don't, don't, don't go there. No matter what you say, you're not going to change my mind. I'm in love with her. And I'm gonna marry her. Oh God. Well, gonna get a new mom, Jess. She's so high. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Because I am not sure if you heard that, but there is going to be a wedding. Oh. <sighs> the first episode was called the last wedding. No wedding. And the Yes. Why are we meeting in a parking garage? Because what we are doing. Don't they have a parking savory. space? Remember yeah, that episode? Die. You also you promised Winston and everybody pizzas. So. Yeah, you definitely did. First here, memorize these. What is this? Scripts. I love sponges because they connect my heart to my hands. Look, I had to scramble you guys. I told my bosses how much men love to clean. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know. I think I'm rigging this focus group. Sponges make me feel more exhilarated than any home run or touchdown ever could. I'm out. I can pay buy me. my own pizza. Can somebody please loan me fifteen dollars? What about the tip? Mm. What about tip? I don't give tips. It's no, for delivery. You yeah. don't tip delivery people. You definitely tip delivery people. Guys, but if you pick guys, Nick, you're a bartender. Shut the fuck up about tips. Fine. I'm gonna need one hour in a quiet room to get into character. No. Right on. After long and thoughtful and careful consideration, Winston is in. Okay. Assuming pizza is still on the table. Say pizza one more time, Winston. Pizza. Just don't. Just don't. No, we just never talked about when we're gonna. Just talk again, just don't he's don't he's really mad. Say pizza again. Pizza. Say pizza one more time. I'm gonna kill you. Stop. Maybe we talk about toppings, perhaps. Pizza. I'm not gonna do it. What do you think of sponges? They're stupid. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> you, who cares? Ex that's exactly how I feel. What do you think this is? Interesting. Like? I'm Nick. I'm Brittany. Oh my god. What up, Brittany? So much in common. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I bet you her phone is in her purse, and we could check her phone for dirt on her. But if she's a normal person, her phone is locked, right? We're gonna handle this like adults. We're not snooping. You're right. You're right. That is, it's a huge violation of privacy. You can't do that. What does it say? Bad. Give it to me. But it, her phone's just available? Dad, she's cheating on you. What? Yeah, just ask Jim. At 1040, Jim heard she was in town. At 1152, Jim had his hands down his pants. And at 1153, cumin? <laughs> what is he cooking? Cumin? <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. My dad is the best guy. Cumin? In the you better hit the damn road. That's my work phone. I'm a sex therapist. Jim is my client. Your client? Client. 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 Oh God. Well, you're busted. This was clearly a mistake. No. And for the record, George Jong gave me Giardia. I saved you from a hideous river disease. Mmm. Damn, Jess. Why do you act like that? Look, Dad, I'm so sorry. Is there anything I There's can do? There's nothing more that you can do. I knew this was a mistake bringing her here. Wait, Dad! So, uh, why don't you tell me what you think about that sponge there, Coach? Uh, Schmidt, I'm gonna leave with Brittany here. We're gonna do adult things. They connect my heart to my hand. Wow, thank you so much. Well, yeah, I man. wish my buddies could see me now. What? They'd be all like, hey, man, let me get hit of that squishy whip. You know, I have something I'd like to add. Please. Um, I like cleaning. You like They're cleaning pretty cute, not gonna lie. I can control in a world filled with chaos. Thank you. I am Thor. And this is my hammer, Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Okay. Mjolnir? Wonderful detail. How do you say uh, How about you down there, Mayor of the Corner? <laughs> Nick? What? How does cleaning make you feel? Uh, like I'm, I'm cleaning. Uh, move on to somebody else, please. Do you remember the card? No, no. Read your cards. Do you want to know I think about your sponges? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is clearly rigged. My office, now, Schmidt. 
Schmidt. Schmidt, I'm sorry. <sighs> Nick, you suck. You could have at least played along and... I don't know. This was supposed to be a big weekend for me and Ashley. It's so weird calling her Ashley. She's played Deandra for so long, or D. You, you don't have to do that, you know. I can take care of myself. Can you? Dad. Yes, I might get hurt, but that'll be my problem. You don't need to do it anymore, Jess. I should be taking care of you. Ashley is different from any woman I've ever dated. I believe it. I, I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Oh, Dad, that's so sweet. Hey! Hey, that Ashley! Her She's client? Um, oh, we have Ash to turn her off. Let's turn on NPR and oh. Blair. Her client, maybe? It's Jim. Ashley, wait, 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 please, please, don't do this, please. Ashley, if you're gonna relapse, relapse with my dad. I'm not relapsing. This is Roy. He's my L.A. sponsor. Oh. This is Roy. You know, I, I always wanted to meet you. Hi. Jess. Not a strange man. Former sex addict, uh, current chocoholic. I'd be in trouble if you were black. Thank you. Ashley, look. I screwed up. I have to let my dad make mistakes. Oh, I'm a mistake? No, you are not a mistake. That came out wrong. I'm sorry, Bob. I never meant to come between you and your daughter. You're my big... Round, bald, fuzzy, weeble wobble, but I just, I just need a little space. Damn. Ugh. Broke your dad's heart, Jess. It's not over, Dad. Get the ring. I'm sorry, Schmidt. What can I say? Don't fire him. Oh, God. What the, why? Give him the <laughs> count. He's a hard worker and he's a neat freak. How do I know that? Because I share a room with him. You do share a room. And you should see his side. It is so clean. Speaking of sharing a bedroom, Brittany's coming over tonight. Uh, so I'm going to need 10 to 15 minutes of privacy for... I don't need 15 minutes. That's excessive. Give me five to 10. <laughs> that feels braggy. Give me three to five, but no less than three, because that's rude to girls. Do you really think that she's going to have sex with you in that pulp-covered filth bunker? I'll throw a tarp down. <laughs> yeah. what, if she's, what if she's turned off by... If Nick cleans his room before Brittany comes over, he might get laid. I don't know. It seems like a lot of work. Not with the right tool. So if he gets laid, then... But what side is the dirty stuff going? He doesn't know a lot, but he's about to discover the ultimate <laughs> new man. I bet this side is really good for the tough areas. The man sponge. Because the dirtiest thing in your room... Probably be her. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I like it. All right, you get the sponge a couch, Schmidt. I don't really like using sponges. I don't know why. I like using like the steel wool or. Wait, Ashley! Oh, you're right, push off. 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 You're right, push I don't know. I mean, are you okay? You need to do it now, Dad. Before we get flattened by a parade. Come on. Aww. Ashley, will you marry me? Oh, I thought you were going to sing it. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. This is still kind of weird. Jess, you're my little girl now. Oh, Jess. You go to your room. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh -huh. You should go to a, a hospital. Well, if you're my mom, then you're paying for my bills, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's... Oh! No, 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 no. oh. No, no, no. I got it, I got it. I'll just clean it. Come on. Dude, there's a sponge in your hand. He's using a sock! Oh! I suddenly want to buy sponges. Spongy McWipey. The man sponge. <laughs> Because the dirtiest thing in your room should be me. It's like the point in the cartoon where the, the tongue rolls out, the heart beats out of your chest, the eyes, <laughs> or even how adjusted. <laughs> Jesus. All right, guys. So that was New Girl season four, episode three. Julie Berkman's older sister. That was a really funny episode too. So season four is just kicking off with a bang. Three episodes in, three episodes I've loved. Really good stuff. Um, what was her name? I don't really know the. I don't remember the uh, the actress name. Was name like Caitlin Olson, I think. But Deandra from It's Always Sunny. I, I I was a little worried 
that she wasn't going to fit into the show just because her style of comedy so kind of um it just feels like it fits more in this in the, in the type of comedy of always sunny because always sunny is a little more raunchy it's a little more it's kind of like live action south park if you're going to kind of like put like try to explain it to somebody you know it's raunchy it's foul they they talk about the the worst shit in society you know that they, they they definitely you know they take stances on controversial subjects this and that um so yeah i was i was a little worried at first thinking that she wasn't going to kind of blend in with the cast and crew here but she played her role really well just the kind of character she was so because i could kind of still see that kind of energetic side of the actress herself so i i can kind of separate the actress from Deandra from that character. So that, that was really good. It's not like, um, was it the waitress from always sunny? Cause I'll always see her as the waitress. And when I saw her like in Brooklyn nine, nine, I was like, it just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel we, it doesn't feel right. I don't know. Like there's certain characters, like certain actors that cross over that you see in other star that you see in other shows. And you're just kind of like, mm. and you, sometimes you might be like, Hey, that works. But yeah, I think this episode is really good. I don't know if we're going to see Deandra. Not Deandra. What's her name? Um, the character's name in this in this show. But Ashley. Because um, she's now going to marry Jess's dad, which is totally weird. So is that it for Jamie Lee Curtis? Are we going to get an episode with all of them? That would be pretty cool down the line. Uh, the sponge commercial at the end was pretty neat. Makes me want to go buy some sponges now and clean my room. Um, what else is going on here? Cece and, and, and Jess trying to, trying to stop the wedding before being all for it. That was, that was good. I mean, this episode is really, really awesome. Enjoyable, funny. I'm just kind of scrubbing through here, see what else happened. Um, and yeah, like Nick met someone. I didn't, I'm probably not going to do anything with that, but this Brittany you know, character, she, she seems pretty cute and funny and likable. They had like a little bit of chemistry there playing with the water and this one's kind of like, Flicking the water at each other. That was, that was a cute little moment. Pretty enjoyable. I uh, don't really have much else to say. So I think I'm just getting it there. But three episodes in. Three episodes. Like really incredible stuff. So and I think I'm just getting it there. Alright guys. If you guys enjoyed my review. Enjoyed my reaction. You guys want to see these episodes with me in their entirety. The options are available to you right now. Over on Patreon. Link description down below. Or pin in the top comment. You can support me on Patreon. You can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys next time in the next three episodes of New Girl. Until then, adios guys. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it, and if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up.